Today's video is about the PARD DS35 night vision scope. This thing's pretty cool. I've personally never messed with a night vision scope before and I'm very impressed. We're gonna show you all the different capabilities today and different features on it. This thing's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. So a couple of the features are, it's got a built-in range finder. How cool is that? Instead of going back to a range finder, going back to your scope, you know, you got the infrared night vision, you have a, you know, one shot zeroing capability with this. I'm gonna show you all that. The rifle we're using today is a SIG SSG 3000. Pretty cool, I have two of them. House of Pain Munitions has given us the ammo for this video. Shout out to them in Ohio. Stay tuned, we got all kinds of cool stuff for you today, including some very unique, cool stuff towards the end of this one. Man, this night vision is pretty cool, let me tell you. I know it wasn't just invented yesterday, it's been around for a while, but this is the first time that I've personally messed with it, and it is awesome. This is some cool stuff. It's been pretty rewarding learning how to, you know, figure it out and make it all work. I think that kind of stuff's cool. And if you ever think that like working on firearms or anything like that's pretty cool, you need to check out my top sponsor, Sonoran Desert Institute. If you've ever like literally had like a gunsmithing or you want to modify your firearms or anything like that, this is the place to go check it out. Sonoran Desert Institute. They offer some of their online courses are AR-10, AR-15, gunsmithing, and many more. They have a total flexible schedule for you and they're not gonna break the bank. I mean, this place is awesome. I mean, they do a lot to support gun channels and we need to give back to them a little bit too. So if you really have any interest in any kind of gunsmithing, I think check them out. I have the link in the comments and my description and I put the phone number in there as well. So give them a check out, you won't be disappointed. So another cool thing that we're doing today too is we're running a suppressor on the end of the rifle to make it so much easier to shoot and quiet too. And uh, the two main brands that I use are GSL suppressors and Elite Iron. I love them both. They're both awesome. I had a GSL on my G36 and I loved that thing. I rocked it out in full auto and it held up all day. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna hit your button here and you gotta hold it down for like three seconds to turn the optic on. Once it's turned on, you got everything all set up. Easy enough. You also hit it down for three seconds to turn it off. This little lever up here on the optic this is your focus. You're going to move it back and forth so everything comes into perfect focus like it is right now. So another cool feature is you actually have where you have your optic on it. And if you hit this button real quick, just tap it. It gives you a split screen with the little screen at the top, which I'm recording right now. And it zooms it in. So you have your regular target, but you also have a zoomed in one as well. So once you have the optic on, this little button up here, the top of the scope right here, you're gonna hold that down and that'll change you between black and white or color for daytime or night. So you can actually hook up the Wi-Fi on your phone or something too by hitting this button right here. Hold it down and you'll have green bars in there that actually turn on. So the button to the right up here, if you press it down real quick, it's gonna take a picture of what you're looking at. If you hold it down for a few seconds, it'll start recording. You'll see the little button and it'll tell you when it's recording on the side. So this little knob right here, you can either go to 5.6 mag magnification or turn it to 11.2. So it's kind of cool with a quick click you go back and forth, 5.6, 11.2 magnification. So pretty cool feature right there as well. Also with this optic, you could do different color reticles. You could do white, you could do yellow, you could do green or red. All right, so to charge this optic, you have a USB cord, just like charging your phone. You're gonna open this up, plug it in, Plug it in your, your uh, wall mount, and you're gonna be just like charging a phone, pretty awesome. Another thing is this is where your SD card goes for recording everything. I think it's so cool that you have a camera on this, which also records everything you're shooting at, whether it is uh, you're hunting, whether you're target shooting, anything like that. You wanna get some cool footage of blowing a, a water bottle apart, you're gonna get it. The more I keep going through this too, I keep learning more and more. This thing has got, it's actually amazing. This is definitely gonna be in my inventory from now on. So another really cool feature about this, and I mean, this is really cool. So 
you know, a lot of people buy optics and scopes and it's such a pain to zero them in and you gotta waste so many rounds and stuff. This is a one shot zero scope. And I'm gonna try to record it. It won't let me do it before. I'm gonna try it, but just in case it doesn't. So pretend this is what you're shooting at, right? So we shoot down there. I have like an old table set up that we're gonna shoot into it. Let's say I miss right here and this is where my bullet hits. What I could do is go into the scope. If this is where I was aiming before, if this was a scope with your crosshairs right there, you could actually, you hit a button to freeze it and you could actually move this down and move it over to that. So that's where it's around for now on. And then the next shot, it's right on. We've already done it. I'm gonna show you right now. It is insane. I mean, one shot, zero. Yeah. So here we are at a hundred yards. I got a little spot on this table that we're gonna shoot. We're gonna see where it hits and then move the zero into it real quick. So this was a shot I was messing around with before. Before I did this was aiming. I was just aiming here, we just hit here. So now we're gonna go adjust the scope to go down to there. And let's see if we can get it back in here and throw a nice little group in there at 100 yards. Here we go. So this is reticle adjustment. And you see the little green X? What I'm gonna do is move that up to the hole where I shot. And then that will, should automatically zero it in once I hit save. So we did our one shot zero. We adjusted the reticle. Let's see how it does. I'm gonna shoot a little group and we'll see how we do here. Okay, we're gonna shoot a three shot group. And hopefully we're right in the center. All right, let's go see how we did. Round shot. When I aimed here, that's what I hit. I readjusted everything and look at that. 100 yards, those are about a quarter inch away from each other. So nice little group. I mean, I was moving around a little bit or I probably would have been right there even a little bit more. So. Pretty cool. How awesome is that? A one shot zero. Now that we got this bad boy set it in, I got some bottles of water, some cans of pop, some steel plates. Let's blow some stuff apart and get some cool videos of it. There goes a can of pop. Plate. So we're going to test this thing out at 500 yards here. we got a body plate set up. We have it zeroed in at 100, so I'm going to use a little Kentucky windage and try to hit this body plate with a few shots. Let's do it. So here we are, we're at my property at night. We're gonna test this scope out to see how it looks. It is dark out there. Over there, I got my rifle set up. Let's go check it out real quick. I'm gonna turn on the lights so you can see. So you can see how dark it is out there. I mean, it's pitch black, you can't see anything. What I did was I took my bolt out of this gun took the mag out it is completely empty we're not going to shoot anything here we're just going to look around and see what kind of animals run around out there and stuff i think it's gonna be pretty cool so let's check this out and i'm going to start recording this too so you can see from what i'm looking at all right here we are oh wow you can see these plates plain as day oh man that is awesome uh, there's some bugs flying around mound right there oh there's a 300 yard mound you can see that plain as day and it's cool we're adjusting it a little bit 
Some bugs, no animals yet. Animals. Oh, is that a wolf? Yes, it is. Oh yeah, there's an Ohio wolf. And we do have a big wolf population in Ohio. Look at that thing running around, that's pretty cool. Definitely see, what the? Are you kidding me? That's well-fed American out there eating a Twinkie? In the middle of the dark, just staring at us? If that ain't creepy, I don't know what isn't. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, man. This dude's out there eating a Twinkie just staring at me. What a freak, I'm gonna tune this dude up. Man. So looking through this night vision and doing all the shooting and everything like that reminds me of a movie, Silence of the Lambs. Do you remember in a basement when it was pitch black and he had his night vision on and he was chasing Clarice, Buffalo Bill or whatever his name was? That was an awesome movie. Check this out. Would you watch my YouTube channel? Oh yeah, I would watch my YouTube channel. rubs the lotion on thy skin. No! It puts the lotion on thy skin or it gets the hose again. No! It puts the lotion on thy skin or it gets the stick again. When it mean mugs me, it gets beat again. No! It does what it's told! No! Oh. 
well-fed American, even though his skin will be quite a prize, it'll do what it's told next time. Eating Twinkies again? He's gonna find out. It does what it's told. Twinkies again? It does what it's told. <laughs> so overall, this thing was completely awesome. I mean, I've never messed with night vision scope myself. And I mean, I am impressed. Not only the night vision part, but just everything about this thing. Having the range finder on it. Having the one shot zero. I mean, that was completely cool as hell. Uh, I mean, being able to record, being able to like take pictures, everything about this thing. The only negative thing I could find about this, and I mean the only negative thing would be, is if the battery died. If the battery died, you're shit out of luck. I mean, it ain't gonna work. But other than that, this thing is cool as hell. It's definitely going in my inventory. I love this thing. This is awesome. The PAR DS35 set-70, you want to check this thing out. For night vision and anything else, this thing is cool as hell. I'm really impressed with it. Just a little bit. Sorry. Here we go. It does what it's told! No! Fucker! <laughs>